Welcome back to the Small Business Toolbox where we look at the nuts and bolts of self-employed life in the UK. I'm Andy Mack and in this series of videos I'm taking you through how to set up a website and how I actually set up this very YouTube channel. In part one I covered some of the fundamental concepts of setting up a website for your business. In part two we talked about getting the domain name sorted and getting the domain name sorted for this actual YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to cover off setting up a Gmail account for the business and creating this YouTube channel as well. This is a bit of a chicken and egg thing, as I'm sure you'll appreciate. We've already bought the domain names for this, so what email address did I use for that if I don't already have a Gmail address? You're gonna need an email address to register your domain names and your web hosting against, and you can't use bobsmith at yourcompany.com because it doesn't exist yet. I'm assuming that you've just used some sort of personal account for now, but moving forwards, it is handy to have an admin email address that's completely separate to your main domain names, just to use for some core administrative functions of your business. You're never gonna make this address public because you don't want it to fill up with spam, but it is an important one, and it's especially important that you keep this account secure. I would certainly recommend keeping all of this completely separate from your personal email accounts. Let's get this done. So I've just come to Gmail. Uh, you can just go to uh, google.com and, and find Gmail via that, or you can just go, I think you can just go to gmail.com, can you? I think that'll let you do it, gmail.com. Yeah, and as you can see, I've already got a lot of Gmail accounts for my various channels and bits and pieces that I've got. So all I'm going to do on via this screen, if you've already got a Gmail account, but I'm setting up a separate one for this business, and that is a, a really handy thing to do because you're going to probably need a separate Gmail account anyway. Even if you're not going to use this for business purposes, trust me, it's really handy to have. So... All I'm gonna do is create account. I'm gonna call it, um, it doesn't have a thing on here for company names, so we're gonna call it small business toolbox. Now, I'm keeping a note of everything that I'm setting up here just for future reference. So I would suggest you have some way of keeping a note of all your passwords and usernames because you're gonna get a lot of them. Obviously how you secure that is entirely up to you. We might talk about that in a, a separate video. Okay, we'll do the verify, might as well. That's fine, go. We're in. Right, so we've got our Gmail account, our first email account for this business. We're all set. Now, I like to have my Google inbox or my Gmail inbox set so that I haven't got all this nonsense social and promotions rubbish at the top. So to change that, I'll just go into um, settings and inbox and I switch off those two, and that's fine for now. Right, now that I've got a Gmail account, let's try and set up a YouTube channel. So, we're gonna sign into YouTube. So I've just gone to youtube.com. We're gonna set up our first YouTube channel. This is this YouTube channel that you're watching this video on being created. So I'm signed in, because I'm already signed into Gmail, it's automatically signed me in. And what we're gonna do is go to Creator Studio and create channel. Now, I'm gonna do it as a business name on here. Okay, this is my first mistake right here. Just to briefly explain, YouTube has personal accounts and brand accounts. 
Personal accounts should be for people, brand accounts should be for businesses. I've set up lots of YouTube channels over the years and I naively assumed that they would have fixed all the problems with brand accounts by now, but I was wrong. I should have left it as a personal account. Let's get back to it. Brand account name, small business toolbox, create. This account is not eligible yet to use YouTube. Oh, what? Okay, so I've fully signed out. I'm gonna sign back into YouTube. It might just be because I had never, hi, small business. It might just be because I'd never logged in with it. Let's try it again. Create channel. I'm gonna do it under a business name. Ah. Seems to f does it think it's already there. Let's try that. That's different than before. Okay. Ah, it's still not working. Is it? Now we've got no error at all. Oh, YouTube. Sorry, something went wrong. Our tubes must be clogged. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to try this through a different browser. No, it's just not. Something went wrong. Our oh, tubes must brilliant. So I literally can't create a YouTube channel. Okay. I want you to see every single problem that you might run into. Here's the first problem. I need to do a bit of research on this and I shall come back. The channel is up and running. Look, we've got a YouTube channel. This is it. So that should be me done as long as I don't attempt to turn it back into a brand account. You are watching this video on this channel, if this has worked. But we're gonna try and change this to a brand account. I would prefer to have it as that from square one. Andy man, give up on the brand account. Because I don't like changing it over at a later date because the way YouTube handles personal accounts and brand accounts and how it all links in with, um, Google Plus is an absolute mess. So let's just go to create a studio and we'll see if we can flip it over to a brand account. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm gonna go into YouTube settings. I'm gonna go into advanced settings down here. And we're gonna do move channel to brand account. Uh, okay, yeah, it's making us log in again for some reason. Uh, my channel now is that connected account after the move it's going to be yet. Yes, do it. How do I do it? Do I click that? Uh, does that mean I'm going to have four YouTube accounts now? Uh, are you doing something? Oh, currently small business toolbox and it's going to become small business toolbox. Go. <gasps> I think it's worked. Your YouTube channel has successfully been moved. Okay. Cool. We are ready to rock. I mean, we'll ignore the fact that it now says you don't currently have a channel. We'll come back to that. I'm going to leave it for 10 minutes. I think it's done. Well, it wasn't done. And I'm going to spare you from any more of the pain of watching how buggy the back end is of the biggest video streaming platform on the planet. To cut a long story short, it just wouldn't work properly at all as a brand account and I ended up having to switch back to a personal account again. I should have just left it as a personal account to start with. If anyone has managed to get brand accounts on YouTube working properly, please can you post in the comments what on earth you've done differently to what I'm doing. A personal account is absolutely fine for now. As far as I'm aware, the only major difference between a personal account and a brand account anyway is that a brand account can be managed by multiple different people, which I don't really need. Honestly, if YouTube can make things unnecessarily complicated, they will do it. Anyway, we're up and running. If you did use a personal email account to register your domains with 123reg, I would advise that you pop over to the control panel in 123reg and just change all of the email addresses 
from your personal account to your new business Gmail account or a business account on any platform that you want to use. You just really want to keep your business life separate from your personal life and try and do that from square one. And this is definitely square one. If you've set up a YouTube channel for your business, pop a link in the comments below. Let's tell everyone about it. It will get quarantined, but I will release the links on an entirely subjective basis. Next time we're setting up the web hosting and that's gonna be a big one. So don't forget to hit subscribe. Take care folks and best of luck on your small business journey. Bye.